your employees are working from home. Are you ready to transition into this new workplace? How will you communicate? How will you process the necessary paperwork that assists employees throughout their employment life cycle? Think about that three-part form necessary to add a child to the benefit plans. The next generation human resources in this new digital workplace must focus on moving from the back office to self-service HR. Transitioning traditional human resources practices to support remote workers will be covered during this webinar today. We will share with you best practices on how to set up a self-service porter to help your employees become more empowered and engaged. We'll also assist you in converting existing business processes to support all this online technology in the new digital workplace. Think about the traditional recruiting process. Managers contact HR and they request that a position be posted. HR looks for a job description that may or may not have been updated and quickly prepares a new one. That document is emailed back and forth between the parties and edited as necessary. Finally, the position is posted, oftentimes on external sites that may include fees. Applicants are collected and manually entered into a spreadsheet for compliance tracking. Candidates are contacted either by email or phone and invited to a face-to-face -face interview. Oftentimes, questions and scoring matrices are completed and me emailed back and forth to the members of the interview committee. Interviews are conducted face-to-face. -face. Offer letters are either emailed or even mailed to the candidate. Offer letters are then signed and emailed back to the hiring manager. Background checks are initiated by emailing the vendor and phone calls are made to candidates not selected. This process is very manual and includes a lot of paper and a lot of back and forth communication. Recruiting in the new digital workplace eliminates paper. Managers submit a requisition into the portal to ignite the recruiting process. Candidates apply also through the portal by uploading resumes and required documents. Screening questions are also asked to eliminate the unqualified candidates, while the most qualified candidates are invited to an interview via online meetings. Candidate is selected and a job offer is processed along with background check authorization. All documents are signed using DocuSign. Parties are notified upon the candidate's acceptance of the conditional offer. And finally, the candidate is vetted and warmly welcomed during the remote onboarding process. Another example of how we've done things in the past are performance reviews. Supervisors email the self-assessment form to employees. Employees may not have saved last year's copy and oftentimes will request that original documentation. The supervisor will look for that documentation. Hopefully it's been saved on a shared drive or it is in the file cabinet in the file room. Each party completes the self-assessments by emailing and printing copies of the forms and comparing them. The supervisor will email the review back to the employee and asks the employee for a face-to-face -face meeting. The meeting is conducted face-to-face, -face, handwritten notes are taken, and both the employee and the supervisor sign the performance review. Another traditional access to resources includes forms, policies, training materials, documents, projects, and questions. In the past, employees contacted human resources via email, face-to-face, -face, or by phone requesting these types of documents and policies. Through a self-service portal, employees are empowered to locate information on their own. They can access policies, documents, and forms in the Knowledge Base tab. They become resourceful and self-reliant. Documents are reviewed, edited, and updated in one central location. It's a communication destination and employees are notified in a timely manner on updates and compliance alerts. In the past, our traditional communication consisted of employees calling, 
emailing, and communicating in person with human resources and the payroll personnel. Oftentimes, managers were the first point of contact. Employees would scan, copy, email, or mail documents to both HR and payroll. Paper copies of documents were housed on desks or in file cabinets, and company news and events and announcements were sent via email or posted on a bulletin board. Employees can communicate through the self-service portal with human resources in a very easy way in the new digital workplace. They can submit a service request, and maybe in this case, they want to update their federal tax exemptions. Instead of walking the form down to human resources, emailing it in an unsecure way, or going ahead and calling somebody and figuring out how to fax or to scan the form, the employee can do that through the portal. Here they would fill out the service request, attach the new tax form, and it would go directly to human resources. The employee would always be able to see the status of their service requests within the self-service portal, as well as get an email from the human resources department once the request was completed. The human resources department will receive an email with the request, log in to their side of the self-service, and review the request. The request can be updated here through the portal and will reach the employee directly. Here, HR can put in a resolution. We can close the request. And the employee will receive an updated email that the request has been processed along with the details on the resolution of the request. Again, employees can always view current service requests and information regarding the service request in their self-service portal. Here you can see the ticket was closed and the resolution is here for the employee to see that the tax exemptions that they have updated will be processed on the next July pay date. How easy is this in the new digital workforce? Think about traditional onboarding. Employees receive information at new hire orientation during a face-to-face -face meeting with payroll or HR. Documents are collected, copied, and filed in filing cabinets. Benefit elections are requested, however, may lag due to employee indecisiveness. Documents are scanned or filed, and employees only have access to such documents only by asking HR or payroll for a copy. Onboarding in the new digital workplace allows employees to have access to all the necessary documents they need during their employment life cycle. Forms are fillable online using an electronic signature. Documents are stored in the digital employee record HR and payroll are alerted when the documents are complete and employees may make deductions and tax changes via the self-service options. Onboarding is easy in the new digital workplace. Employees can come through the self-service portal and fill out all the information that's necessary to capture while joining a new company. The company or human resources can set up templates for the employee to fill out. Information like education information, emergency contacts, date of birth, addresses, phone numbers, whatever the company needs for a new hire to start employment with the company. 
Employees also, through the self-service function, can select benefits and learn information about the company and benefit plans and necessarily information to start their work. They also can go through an electronic process for onboarding forms. It is simple for human resources to send out the information through the integration in DocuSign. Once this is sent out, the employees can go and review documents and sign them for the company. In this case, they would fill out the tax forms Maybe select their options or exemptions and sign. They would also fill out things like maybe local tax forms or any other things that maybe the employer would like to include in the package. The employer could put things in here like handbook information and require maybe the employee to review the handbook and initial the pages. They could also require an acknowledgement from the employee so that they could capture it for their records. Information such as direct deposit information could also be filled out. And onboarding packages can be customized for the employer or for different employee groups, maybe salary versus hourly or different departments that may have different paperwork requirements. Everything would then be digitally signed and sent back to the HR portal for processing for human resources and for the company. How easy is that in the new digital workplace? The COVID-19 pandemic has changed the way we do business forever and especially the way we communicate with our employees who are now working remote. For many organizations who were thinking about making a transition to an HR portal, this was a major wake up call. The time is now. With Microsoft 365 as your current platform, the transition is seamless. Work with us as we help you complete an assessment and help you determine your immediate and future needs while you transition to this new digital workplace.